Today I'm going to be showing you a complete um, hard disk drive removal of the Dell Inspiron 3668. The Inspiron uh, 3668 or i3668 sports a 7th generation Core i3, 8 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, and a 1 terabyte hard drive. This is a an amazing entry-level computer. It comes with Windows 10. It's pretty small, so. but you can see pretty standard ports and can easily be upgradable. You can see the expansion slots that just pop out of here. Now we're going to need a few tools that I'm going to go grab real quick. You're going to need a screwdriver. Simple. Now, now that you have your screwdriver, lay the Inspiron on its side. Down for this. Easy. Easy. Now that you have the uh, computer on its side. Actually, no, don't do that. leave it upright for the time being now as you can see there is a screw here obviously I have to go get my other screwdriver this one might be a bit yeah hold up got a multi-tool this is another computer I'm working on um, Tool. I'm just going to loosen it up enough. It'll actually. Okay. So now this screwdriver. There we go. Keep your screws somewhere where you won't lose them. Please. I'm sitting on to the side here. And there's another screw up top. Which I'm gonna see if I can just go on ahead and oh, nope. The reason I don't just keep using the multi tool is it's kinda of hard to spin. Take this out. So you just got the screws there. Now handle pull on it and it'll bring the side panel off now this is your hard drive right here you can see it says pull to remove this first remove the face plate now to remove the face plate you can take each one of these tabs pull them up I'm going to do these all at the same time there we go now you can see that the um, face plate is off, and now we're left with this. Now, now is when you want to take the computer and lay it flat. Now what we're going to do, easily, but with a little bit of force, bring that door up. This is going to expose the interior of your computer. Here you'll see a PCI Express slot, two DIMM slots. Now to remove your hard drive that is up here, we can't do it yet. So you have to get a screwdriver here. I'm so sorry, I gotta get started with the multi-tool again. There we go. I just yeah. Now your hard drive is actually loose. Now before you pull it out remove these two cables. I would recommend you remove this one first easy but with a little bit of force and remove the data cable. And now take it by the blue tabs and there you go. As you can see this is a stock hard drive. I don't have another hard drive to put in it. However I will show you how to replace it. 
to say this is the hard drive you want to put back in it. This is a 3.5 uh, inch hard drive. And um, what you're going to do, take it by the blue tabs, um, the pin side up, and just slide it, easily slide it back in. Wait a second, I can't really... And, sorry I couldn't really record that. But you can see, this will pop through at the bottom. Before you attach your cables, place the screw in and tighten it. You're not going to tighten it all the way yet, but just tighten it with your finger until it's all the way down. So, the hard drive is secure now. Put in the SATA cable first. Or power cable. Now put in the data cable. Cable, sorry. As you can see, they're both in. Now get a screwdriver and tighten it. Just for good measure. Okay. And now you have completely replaced your hard drive. Now to put your PC back together, lay this flat face plate. Now what we're gonna do, can't pick it up like that. Gonna take a look at the front here and we're gonna lay it kind of upright. It's gonna tilt because there's a little black piece down there. But we're, we have it upright for a reason. Because right here, Make sure that goes down first and it's flush. Now easily push down this side. Make sure everything is aligned and once it's aligned we can sit it back up. Now this is what our PC looks like right now. I'm going to take the door and easily I might have to reorient this a bit. Okay. I'm gonna set this. Ooh. Ooh. That could have been bad. Um, make sure it goes on straight. And push it to where it kind of looks aligned. Now. From here, take your screws, place them back in, both screws. And there you go. You have now officially, oh it screeched, my bad. But you have now officially replaced the hard drive on your Dell Inspiron. And I'm going to pull it up in a minute and I'll show you that everything is functional inside. Everything works. And I will see you guys. Okay, so guys, here I am. That just turned off. Okay, I just plugged it in so it cycles a couple times. Um, I'm going to turn it on. Same computer. And we'll know that the hard drive was installed correctly if it actually boots into Windows 10 because that's where I have it installed. And there you go. Um, I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, if you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. 
Bye-bye now.